Welcome to our Bible Quiz channel. Today, we delve into the rich teachings of the New Testament with 27 engaging questions. This quiz features questions about Jesus' description of his disciples as the light of the world, the request of James and John, and the story of Lazarus and the rich man. You'll also explore Paul's teachings on how believers should respond to their enemies and other profound lessons from his epistles. Each question is designed to deepen your biblical knowledge and understanding of the New Testament. Before we begin, please subscribe and like this video. Your support helps us continue spreading the message of the Bible and bringing you more engaging content. Are you ready to challenge your New Testament knowledge? Let's get started. Question 1. Gospel of Matthew. Who did Jesus call the light of the world? A. John the Baptist. B. The Pharisees. C. His disciples. D. The people of Israel. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. C. His disciples. Explaining the Bible, ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on an hill cannot be hid. Matthew chapter 5, verse 14. Question 2. Gospel of Mark. Who asked Jesus to sit at his right and left in his glory? A. Peter and Andrew. B. James and John. C. Philip and Bartholomew. D. Thomas and Matthew. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, B, James and John. Explaining the Bible, And James and John, the sons of Zebedee, come unto him, saying, Master, we would that thou shouldest do for us whatsoever we shall desire. Mark chapter 10, verse 35. Question 3. Gospel of Luke. What did the rich man ask Lazarus to do for him in the afterlife? A, bring him water. B, give him bread. C. Send him messages. D. Pray for him. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. A. Bring him water. Explaining the Bible. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. Luke chapter 16, verse 24. Question 4. Gospel of John. What did Jesus say would happen to the person who believes in him? A. They would never hunger. B. They would never thirst. C. They would have eternal life. D. They would be wealthy. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. C. They would have eternal life. Explaining the Bible. He that believeth on me hath everlasting life. John chapter 6 verse 47. Question 5. Acts of the Apostles. Who was struck blind on the road to Damascus? A. Peter. B. John. C. Paul. D. Stephen. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. C. Paul. Explaining the Bible. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus, and suddenly there shined round about him a light from heaven. And he fell to the earth and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Acts chapter 9, verses 3 to 4. Question 6. Romans. According to Paul, 
How should believers respond to their enemies? A. Fight them. B. Avoid them. C. Feed them if they are hungry and give them drink if they are thirsty. D. Ignore them. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. C. Feed them if they are hungry and give them drink if they are thirsty. Explaining the Bible. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Romans chapter 12 verse 20. Question 7. 1 Corinthians. According to Paul, what is required to understand the things of God? A. Wisdom. B. Intelligence. C. The Spirit of God. D. Experience. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. C. The Spirit of God. Explaining the Bible. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. Question 8. 2 Corinthians. What does Paul say about the New Covenant? A. It is written on tablets of stone. B. It is written with ink. C. It is written on human hearts. D. It is written in the law. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. C. It is written on human hearts. Explaining the Bible. For as much as ye are manifestly declared to be the epistle of Christ ministered by us, written not with ink, but with the Spirit of the living God, not in tables of stone, but in fleshy tables of the heart. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 3. Question 9. Galatians. How did Paul receive the gospel he preached? A. From man. B. From a book. C through a revelation of Jesus Christ. D, from tradition. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. C, through a revelation of Jesus Christ. Explaining the Bible. But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. Galatians chapter 1, verses 11 to 12. Question 10. Ephesians. According to Paul, what should believers put on to stand against the devil's schemes? A. The belt of truth. B the breastplate of righteousness, C, the full armor of God, D, the helmet of salvation. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, C, the full armor of God. Explaining the Bible, Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11. Question 11. Philippians. Paul encourages believers to do everything without what? A. Complaining or arguing. B. Fear or doubt. C. Hesitation or delay. D. Pride or arrogance. You get 10 seconds.
correct answer. A. Complaining or arguing. Explaining the Bible. Do all things without murmurings and disputings. Philippians chapter 2 verse 14. Question 12. Colossians. According to Paul, who is the head of the body, the church? A. Peter. B. Paul. C. The Apostles. D. Christ. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. D. Christ. Explaining the Bible. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence. Colossians chapter 1 verse 18. Question 13. 1 Thessalonians. According to Paul, how should believers live? A. As children of light. B. As children of darkness. C. As children of the world. D. As children of the law. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. A. As children of light. Explaining the Bible. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 5. Question 14. 2. Thessalonians. What does Paul say will happen to those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus? A. They will be forgiven. B. They will be condemned. C. They will be blessed. D. They will be saved. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. B. They will be condemned. Explaining the Bible. Who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of His power? 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 9 Question 15 1 Timothy What does Paul advise Timothy to flee from? A. Sin B. Money C. Youthful lusts D. Idolatry You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. C. Youthful lusts. Explaining the Bible. Flee also youthful lusts, but follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. 2. Timothy chapter 2 verse 22. Question 16. 2. Timothy. What does Paul say about Scripture? A. It is inspired by God. B. It is written by men. C. It is subject to interpretation. D. It is outdated. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. A. It is inspired by God. Explaining the Bible. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. 2. Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. Question 17. Titus. According to Paul, what should older men be? A. Fearful and doubting. B. Sober, reverent, temperate, sound in faith, in love, and in patience. C. Angry and harsh. D. Indifferent and uncaring. You get 10 seconds.
correct answer. B. Sober, reverent, temperate, sound in faith, in love, and in patience. Explaining the Bible. That the aged men be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, in patience. Titus chapter 2, verse 2. Question 18. Philemon. What does Paul appeal to Philemon to do regarding Onesimus? A. Punish him. B. Forgive him. C. Send him back. D. Treat him as a brother. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. D. Treat him as a brother. Explaining the Bible. For perhaps he therefore departed for a season that thou shouldest receive him forever, not now as a servant, but above a servant, a brother beloved, specially to me, but how much more unto thee, both in the flesh and in the Lord. Philemon verses 15 to 16. Question 19. Hebrews. What is the word of God described as? A. A story. B. A light. C. Living and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. D. A guide. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. C. Living and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. Explaining the Bible. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. Question 20. James. According to James, what is pure and undefiled religion before God? A fasting and praying b visiting orphans and widows in their trouble and keeping oneself unspotted from the world c attending church regularly d giving tithes you get 10 seconds correct answer b visiting orphans and widows in their trouble, and keeping oneself unspotted from the world. Explaining the Bible, pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction, and to keep himself unspotted from the world. James chapter 1 verse 27. Question 21. 1. Peter. How does Peter describe the devil? A. A deceiver. B. A lion. C. A wolf. D. A serpent. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. B. A lion. Explaining the Bible. Be sober. Be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Question 22. 2. Peter. What does Peter warn about false teachers? A. They will be harmless. B. They will secretly introduce destructive heresies. C. They will be easy to spot. D. They will be honest you get 10 seconds. Correct answer. B. They will secretly introduce destructive heresies. Explaining the Bible. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, 
and bring upon themselves swift destruction. 2. Peter chapter 2 verse 1 Question 23. 1. John, according to John, what should believers do to test the spirits? A. Ask them questions. B. Compare them to the law. C. See if they acknowledge that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. D. Pray about them. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. C. See if they acknowledge that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. Explaining the Bible. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. 1 John chapter 4 verse 2. Question 24. 2. John. What does John emphasize in his letter? A. Love and obedience. B. Faith and hope. C. Wealth and prosperity. D. Power and strength. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. A. Love and obedience. Explaining the Bible. And now I beseech thee, lady, not as though I wrote a new commandment unto thee, but that which we had from the beginning, that we love one another. And this is love, that we walk after his commandments. This is the commandment, that, as ye have heard from the beginning, ye should walk in it. 2. John verses 5 to 6. Question 25. 3. John. Who does John warn against in his letter? A. Diotrephes. B. Demetrius. C. Gaius. D. Trophimus. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. A. Diotrephes. Explaining the Bible. I wrote unto the church, but Diotrephes, who loveth to have the preeminence among them, receiveth us not. 3 John verse 9. Question 26. Jude, how does Jude describe the fate of false teachers? A. They will be forgiven. B. They will be ignored. C. They will face eternal darkness. D. They will be blessed. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. C. They will face eternal darkness. Explaining the Bible. To whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever? Jude verse 13. Question 27. Revelation. What does John see coming down out of heaven from God? A. A temple. B. A new Jerusalem. C. Angels. D. A scroll. You get 10 seconds. Correct? Answer. B. A New Jerusalem. Explaining the Bible. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Revelation chapter 21 verse 2.